All right. Hey. Kendall, what's up, man? What's up? Hey, it's uh, Little Dano's Diaries. Stormin' Norman, Kendall Norman, Pa 1000 champ, what's happening? Oh, not much, man. Just chilling out here in HB. We uh, had a really good day riding on Friday. It's like the thing to do. Come hang out in HB, go to Paul on Friday, and just relax on the weekends, you know? When you got an off weekend, nothing nothing does a body right than, dude. than relaxing in HB. Hey, man, people don't care about that. Let's talk about the 1,000, dude. <laughs> I'm serious. Okay. I mean, seriously, Yeah, dude. actually, I just got back from Vegas for the score awards for the year-end points championships, and it was awesome. Um, but, yeah, the 1,000 went really well. We uh, pulled off an exciting win. Thrilling. Um, due to a Kawasaki team that was down there giving us grief the entire time. And two of those dudes were your yeah, two of ex-teammates, them, right? Yeah, two of them I've uh, actually won races and won championships with. And uh, the other guy is a multiple-time uh, desert champion in the States. And uh, a pretty bad team, but we handled it. Nice, man. Well, uh, so going into this Ba 1000, um, Johnny Campbell, you guys were testing. What happened? Yeah, so we were out testing our race bike. The thing was, you know, ready to go. And Campbell went out, and, you know, unfortunate for him, he crashed it really hard. Um, he ended up breaking a vertebrae in his back, broke his tailbone. But it was like our team leader is down, and it sucked. And everyone had to step it up and work super hard. And but you know he came around and he was able to help us out. He was hanging, dude, in his cast. Yeah, he was his, thumbs up. His broken thumbs up racing, dude. His broken wrist. He had problems sitting because of his broken tailbone. He was like always like, man, my ass. I can only <laughs> sit for so long. But uh, you know, anyways, we just you know we all just work super hard to, to win this one for him and for the team and for everyone who helps out. So. Uh... Well, I'm glad to see you here. You know, we've been beach cruising, hanging out, having a good time. Um, you know, you do the, the, the 250, the 500, and 1,000, and you've won the Baja 1,000 four times. So out of all the four times of you winning, which one feels the best to you? Well, the first one, the first one's crazy just because your first one and it's just like, the feeling's unreal, but this one for sure, taking the, the taking the finish like like we did right behind the Cowie, chasing him down all all night long. I mean, for sure, this one was the best out of them all, hands down. And tell give me, give me uh tell us why. Like I mean I mean we could go on for six hours about how gnarly what you guys did, but give me the one thing that comes to your mind why this thing meant so much to you. I don't know, it's just like all the hard work I put in and all the training I've had from my old boss Bruce who passed away and my dad and Johnny and stuff, just like being able to take everything that they've taught me and ride smart, don't crash in the dust, do what I had to do to win, you know? And that right there, like it's just a testament of all the people who've helped me out and all my sponsors and everyone just like, we can do it, you know? And it was awesome. Good feeling then. So going in the last leg, uh, you guys were, how, how far were you down from Cowie? So 500 miles of racing, we were dead even. For, we started, I think, three minutes behind him, and, we, and it was the time split was exactly that. Dead even. So you, Hengefield? Yeah, he, me and Hengefield dueled it out, and uh, I pretty much just rode in his dust the entire time, couldn't pass him. It was terrible, but I had to be real, like, you know, on this fire road, it's impossible to pass going that fast and the dust and night with the lights reflecting off the dust, you can't see Jack. But, um, yeah, I just held, I held tell, I hung tough and just really rode smart and finished within 20 seconds of him at the finish line and just took it. Did your burnout to celebrate. <laughs> hey, and we're going to see that on NBC, right? Yeah, December 19th. HD, bro. Check it. 2 p.m. Hey, uh, by the way, see that sign right there? You're not doing it, huh? Is it, did you do it or is that me? <laughs> 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 All right, Kittle.
Peace. Hey. Hey, where DVS? <laughs>